So the big question is, am I completely crazy to have moved into a van in February in Scotland? <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Last Friday, I cleared the remaining stuff from my flat, took a few last things over to my storage unit, and from there I was free. I now own my own home for the first time in my life, and conveniently for someone who doesn't like to stay still for too long, it also has wheels. This week has been the coldest for years, so it was a great time to start my van life adventure. My 12 volt car kettle died on Saturday afternoon and I spent much of the week letting friends fill up my flasks with hot water to keep me going. At the same time, I experienced so many amazing moments out in nature in between focusing on keeping warm. So this is not something that you want to wake up to in the morning when you realise one of your hot water bottles has <laughs> leaked overnight and uh, <laughs> there was a slightly frozen puddle on my bed this morning. Oh, fun. I like the snow, though it does keep going in my mouth while I'm walking. <laughs> Hi everyone! <laughs> it's been snowing today, which I love, if I haven't mentioned that already, and it's just beautiful. So I've gone for a walk. I did wake up with snow on my car this morning, which I think actually insulated better than the um, just icy, frosty nights that I've had until now. And oh, right now the sun has come out and I'm <laughs> losing my hat underneath all my layers, but it is just beautiful. So I thought I would share that with all of you. absolute happiness when you are walking along the path looking for your lost lens cap that is a specific size one for your macro lens and you actually find it so happy that's not going on the camera like that oh that's good so happy
So the big question is, am I completely crazy to have moved into a van in February in Scotland? <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. But when I wake up to morning views like this one here, it kind of makes up for how cold it is and definitely makes me think I've done the right thing. Now, when I first looked at moving into a van and decided to do it at this time of the year, I wasn't exactly planning to be in Scotland for the first few weeks or month or two. Um, I was planning to go to the southwest of England where I have lots of friends and family and I used to live and it would be a little bit warmer and I'd have people to stop by at and make things a bit easier for the first couple of months while it was still a bit wet or cold. Um, obviously, the pandemic has changed some of those plans. So I'm in my van in Scotland. I had to get a heater installed and it does get quite cold overnight, but it's still totally worth it. So I think I could stare at this view forever. Unfortunately, I do need to move on. I have got some things to do today. I've got posts that's been waiting to go since I moved out of my flat last Friday. Um, and I just haven't wanted to go deal with people and civilization. I've been trying to avoid it as much as possible. Um, but it has to be done eventually. I know not everyone can get out to places like this at the moment. But I think you just need to remember, if you're someone that loves nature and you love being out somewhere beautiful, you will be able to again soon. And we just have to keep going until then. I have a couple of little robins that have been coming to see me this morning. And uh, my nephew is called Robin and I miss him so much. So when robins come to see me, I kind of feel like he's just coming to check in on me in the morning. So I think we just have to remember when we're away from people that we love, um, you know, this, this time is crazy. We are all in that crazy situation and we will at some point get back to a point where we can go and spend time with our friends and family and it'd be safe to do so. And until then, we just have to find the little things that keep us going, even if that's living in a van <laughs> to get a bit of nature. Just going to capture this Robin, not like capture him.